Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I'll be honest with you, I was sitting here putting together footage for this video and realized I didn't even make an introduction to it. Old Roscoe laid up right here, near about sound asleep. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run down here, set the deer stand a few minutes, uh, eat some beanie weenies. We're gonna go get some deer meat out of the cooler. It's in the skinning shed, bring it over here, and we're gonna cook some deer heart and a big old thick juicy steak. Might even tell you a Jerry Cloward joke at the end if you sit through it that long. Y'all hang with me, we got a good one coming. Y'all, I lit my little Trangia stove right here. We ain't about to blow it out. I may have to close these windows till I get through cooking there. They glass, I can see through them anyway. Oh, but I got these beanie weenies right here. They old sausage is what they are. But I got my little camp stove right here out. Alcohol stove. Warm them up because that oil in there gels up, turns to a jelly. And I wanted to melt it back down. Just warm them up a little. I ain't, you ain't got to cook them. Come down here late this evening, gonna sit around in this stand, and uh, probably ain't gonna see much, but uh, I just wanted to come back here. I've been working on a knife or two. I hadn't, y'all, I hadn't got to work on no knives here in quite a while. Oh, uh, I'm back behind on my pottery, and uh, I try to do too much at one time, is what I do, so. I've had to lay some of y'all's knives back that, that you want knives. I apologize for dragging it out. I just really can't help it. My pottery orders, I have got to get them done. And we, uh, I put some traps out. But now that guy's really running the traps. I know some of you ask about um, a follow-up on there. We did catch a big old neutral rat on that trap line down there. He come, brought it up there to me. And I'm, uh, he brought it, I think, this morning. And I'm going to skin it either this evening or tomorrow. I'm not going to try to uh, salvage a meat or anything. I, they, they say they're good to eat. I know a lot of y'all down in Louisiana, especially South Louisiana, eat a lot of them. Um, but I just, I, I'll be honest with you, my freezer is slam full of stuff. Between hides and meat from deer and stuff, and, and I'm not trying to gather any more food because I just don't need it. Uh, it's sad to say, which it's a good thing. Uh, and it's going fast. We eating it, but I uh, I did have a Nutra, so I'm going to probably tan that pelt. I don't know what they're good for. I have never skint a Nutra rat before. We have eradicated some back several, several years back. And uh, we was really shooting them, and they was way out in the pond. You couldn't even get them if you wanted to. They were sinking. So, uh, but they'll take over. Anyway, we're going to sit around right here for a little while. It's already late. We ain't going to be by the hour. But I was just wanting to show you warming this up. And uh, you had to watch the other day. Y'all, when you get through cooking with this thing, which hand? Where did I, where did I do this at? This finger right here. I know y'all be seeing a lot of injuries, but except missing skin, I, I had to move that so I could put my, it's got this little thing right here to snuff it out. Well, with it up under that rack cooking, you can't do it. And these cans and my little cup that I was cooking on that day will sit down in that thing and smother the fire out. So I had to, uh, I had to move it to snuff that out. And dummy me, instead of taking my knife right here and picking it up and laying it over, I grabbed it with my hand. I mean, I knew it was going to be hot, but I guess I don't know. I, it was just one of them moments, you know. Ignorance takes over. <laughs> so anyway, do it like this right here this time. Burn me one time, you won't burn me again, by George. <laughs> Smart. Let's see. A little bit warm, but anyway. I don't show you them. They steam and boy, them gonna be good, man. Oh man. Oh, 
hard to get that first and out there, you know. Now you can get in here like this. There we go. You see them things right there? Mmm. Y'all, that's fine eating right there. Especially sitting down here on deer stand. I ain't had no dinner today. Well, sir, they gonna all turn to mush on me now. Might have overcooked them, Rick. Mm -hmm. Hey, you have to be careful. These will tear your stomach up. <laughs> All that grease. But that that's the least of my worries. <laughs> I had to go get my ice cream bucket, get my gloves off so I can operate. I used to keep one crammed in each pocket that way when I put my coat on I got gloves in my pocket when it's jacket weather let me cut this light off let me see how to do it it's got a button right there in the middle got my daughter bought me this toboggan for Christmas I'm a mite proud of it I like it it's got that handy little light on there so you know lose a do-rag and put on a let me get my cutting board Got deer meat. Right here I'm fixing in this cooler. I need to swap out and put some more ice on it. So what I do, and it's cool enough that it ain't gonna ruin anyway. I lay these food bottles in there because I don't particularly like to soak my meat in water. I realize some of y'all are fan of soaking it in salt water and some of you like to soak it in vinegar and I don't know what all. And it ain't wrong. If you like to do it that way, that's the way you need to do it. Uh, I really don't think there's a, a wrong way to do something as long as you don't let the meat spoil. But we after a couple of things right here, we're going to, we're not going to cut it up right now. There's the heart. We fixing to go cook that. I am going to show you how to cook that here just in a direct moment how i normally cook it uh put this in my ice cream bucket now y'all if you ain't got an ice cream bucket laying around to put stuff like this in and use to haul your meat back and forth places you just simply ain't eating enough ice cream that's all there is to it so we, what i'm after is one of these hind quarters and some what I call a sweet loin or the breakfast loin. So I cut some meat up in here that I just threw in there. And uh, I have, I don't know what I put where when I packed it all in there. There's one then. So what I call the breakfast loin or the sweet loin is technically the tender loin. It's the little sweet inside loin. So I'm gonna get both of them out because I'm gonna cook them in the morning for my breakfast. And I'm having to kind of kindly dig around in here. Oh. And that water's there is a little bit of water down in here. It ain't just, there's the other. That's the other one I'm looking for. Now, I'm gonna get me some steak meat. That's cold enough, that ain't gonna burn. I'm gonna show you right here now. All right, now, this is a hind quarter. I cut it off of the bone when it's hanging up. Always, I always do that. Oh, it just, it makes life so much easier on me. I know most everybody takes a hacks off to it, but I don't like little shards of bone in my meat, so I don't do that. Oh, 
What I'm after, my favorite, my favorite part of a deer, I'm finna show you how to acquire. Now we're not showing no whole processing deal here. We're just gonna show you what we're cooking. What 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 you finna eat. And the way I like to cook it. Now I have showed y'all cooking this one other time out on the black stone. Oh, uh, see that's all good good meat. I'm after this muscle right here. Right in here. This thing right here. Make a steak. Oh, this is the the middle muscle. And I realize I can't keep my hand out of the way, y'all. I can't help it. If I cut my hand off where it's out of your way, I can't do nothing. And everybody's worried to death about my thumb. Y'all, my thumb's good now. Well, I got the right antibiotics, and I can't tell y'all about them antibiotics now. I got scolded about that. i just tell you, I did not go to the doctor to get them. That's all I can say. I don't want to get nobody in trouble. All right, what I'm doing right here is cutting Roscoe's meat off. And see that Victor Knox just sliding right under there, under that sinew. Oh, man. Don't carry your meat off to no processor and let them hack it up. I really ought to save. I mean, that is sinew. You can watch this. That's how you know you got a good knife. All right, come here. We got booked off. Roscoe, where you at? Come here, son. You got to get on the camera over here before I can give it to you. Come here. Come here. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Sit. 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 Talk to me. Talk to me. Good boy. Now, we got to cut the... We gotta cut the other dog piece of meat too. We'll do it the same way. Here, Roxy. <laughs> but anyway, right here, you see I got this great big old loin. I'm cutting a little more scrap stuff right here off. You don't want that old silver stuff on a good steak you're fixing to eat. So just go ahead and trim it off. Don't don't care you meat to get it all processed because they'll grind this fine piece of meat right here up into burger or some old dried out sausage or something. And I've had people tell me how wonderful that deer sausage was and I ain't never ate none. It wasn't so dry. If you eat it right when it's on the grill, it's still a little juicy, but you lay it down there for a minute and cook your egg or something and come back to eat it. No, hang on, that, that ain't for me. I'm I'm going to cut me a steak. You see how big that, that is? I'm fixing to cut me a steak. Oh, mouth watering. Oh, mmm. Saying make a puppy pull a freight train ain't good enough. All right, we're going to start with this heart. If y'all got a bad mind, I am bachelor tonight. Brody is at his grandma's. Michelle is gone to do a pottery event. They do the handprints for Valentine. She's going off to do that, spend the night, and they're going to get up. She's off in another town. Uh, Lizzie is going to the coast to stay with my sister. So I'm here by my lonesome, me and old Roscoe and Roxanne and Lucky. Oh. Uh, so what I do right here is I cut the main part of that heart. This junk here, I'll feed to them dogs. They over here already. Now, Roscoe stayed outside. He didn't come in. Rock's in here. Here. Come in. Come in. I don't let them lick my fingers. All right. What I do, now y'all see this knife. I don't know if I showed y'all. This is one of my proudest finds at the thrift store. I think I showed it in. I may have been on Michelle's video I showed it. Oh. Uh, but I put Bodoc handles on it, or Osage, and they're not pinned. They're simply, and see it's solid on the bottom. 
And that's the way these knives were made. The handle on it was busted all up. And I put a shine on that blade. And you talk about razor sharp, son. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this in in pieces of around a half an inch thick. And all I'm gonna do is saute it, y'all. Oh. Now you can batter and fry this heart. It, I'm gonna be honest with you, the heart is the best piece of meat in a deer, hands down. There's no question. It is tender. It does not taste like liver. It is, it is simply meat. And it is good. So. Well, I dropped a piece there. Roxanne, you can have that. I don't be eating it off the floor. I know some of y'all got that. I think it called it a 30-minute rule. I mean a five-second rule. But if it hits the floor, it don't matter if it's laid there a week or five seconds. It's it's the same difference. I'll tell you what determines whether I pick it up meat and how bad I want it. Cause I have picked it right up meat. But that ain't cooked and it was a little bitty piece. I got more than I can eat tonight by myself anyway. So, wasn't a big deal. Now I am going to cut these sections in two, like I'm gonna divide it up into piece strips and all right. See, like where you got these different sections, I take a tip of my knife and separate that off. Um, it just I'm sautéing this in strips, and then we're going to. I've got my. I better cut that off. I turned my skillet on, warming it up, and I done forgotten. I just cut it slam off. We'll start back over with it. I get sidetracked, y'all, bad. Especially when I get to talking to the camera. I'm gonna season this with picking and grilling. This is banjo dust. I, I tell you what, let me add some light to this situation. That hope y'all out any. Now, you can read it maybe. It says banjo dust right there. That's for my neighbor friends. I've been following them for a long time, Scotty Chun, and I'm not sure who else is in that company with them. I just know him. Uh, so no disrespect to whoever else is a part of that company. But I like this seasoning. So this this is let's see. It's a lot like the garlic salt and stuff like that. Y'all, it is fine. I mean, I mean fine. You can about eat that. They also have a butter pecan, and it's good. So I, I put it on here pretty, pretty liberal. That's all I'm gonna put on that. Oh, uh, but now I don't like a lot of moisture cooked out to where it turns into, it's like almost a gravy, you know? You know what I'm talking about. So, so right here, we just throwing it in there and I'm throwing the seasoning side down cause I'm gonna re-season this side in the skillet, okay? And this all may not fit in there. Oh, you see, I like to lost that piece. Doggone it. That was that 30-minute rule, wasn't it? Uh-oh, y'all, the light up there done turned into a strobe light. The dancers may come out in a minute, I don't know. When I said I was bacheloring, I didn't mean all that. Lord help us, Jesus. All right. Now, I'm on. now we're going to hit it again. Hmm. I said I was gonna do it two different ways, but I, I I was gonna do some with just salt and pepper, but there's more trouble in this way. Now while that over there doing what it do, here Roscoe, come over here, son. Here. I say you a piece. Here, Roscoe. You be chewing on that a little bit. I throw it right there. Don't don't leave it under my feet now. 
I'm not gonna cook this whole thing right here, y'all. This is a big old piece of meat. So I'm gonna get the piece out of the middle that I want. So I'm gonna start right there. And I'm gonna put that back in that bucket. I want that, I want that steak. Ooh, look at that, how thick it. Let me turn this this way. Y'all can't even tell you what I'm doing, can you? That is a steak, son. We're gonna cook two of them. Just cause we probably gonna like it. And we're gonna put this in this bucket. I'm gonna put that all back in the refrigerator. Ain't no roster. Dogs is eating raw meat. They'll probably get some cooked meat in a minute. Alright. Y'all, we'll do these two different ways. That's what we'll do. We'll do them. Well, we're gonna do one with salt and pepper. And one with a Scotty Chun special right here. And that's all we're gonna put on it. That right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on both sides. And probably all around the edges. I mean, we, we want it on there now. That's good, good stuff. All right. Now the other one right here, we just gonna put salt and pepper. Now y'all, I love these Tupperware. Now if you can't eat just salt and pepper, you don't know what you're missing out. And I got a little heavy with the pepper. Simply because we down toward the bottom of this about out. But I can use Tony Saturies. I am a huge fan of Tony. All right, we're going to leave them two just like that. As soon as the other over here is done, we're going to get it off and we're going to put this in. Right, I got two spatulas right here, but we got go to go to flipping in. Basically, I just kind of roll it all around right there. You don't want to cook deer meat all the way through. It'll get to the tough. You can't eat it. But now this heart ain't too bad about that. That is the good thing about it. We just don't let that cook just a minute or two now on this side. I like that when it gets a little black on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it needs, y'all. Now, we, we ain't eating nothing to meat. I probably will fix the salad. Mm. And they may be they some potato soup there. I had some leftover butter beans, but now Brody worked them over pretty good. I'll rummage around the refrigerator, might find something else, but I know they some salad stuff. Look at that red cat out over here. Good God, y'all. All right. All right, y'all. There we go. Right there, there's another piece of meat right there. Lucky you want to cook feet. The little chihuahua don't hardly get to eat none. Let me, let me let y'all look right here. may need to add just a little bit, bit of oil. I got a skillet right here that's got some oil in it, and here's what I do. Just drizzle me a little bit in there. I don't want no whole bunch of oil. So you're gonna see, then you slide it around in there. Now y'all, and if you don't cook hot enough, it'll juice out and, and start making gravy in it. Y'all, I told you I was gonna make me a salad. I wouldn't josh in you none, no. We're gonna make a salad. I didn't cut up my vegetable. I got some cucumbers cut up. Now, I didn't grow all this stuff. Y'all know I ain't got no cucumbers growing this time of year. And I ain't found no good way of preserving them that I can eat them in a salad. I pickled a bunch of stuff. And that's the only thing I really like pickles for is to eat raw. But now these. Jalapenos we pickled. We done a bunch of them. All right, I'm finna have to flip my steak before I get it to. to yeah, all that's just right. So this thick. Now it don't have to cook, but a little bit on the other side. I like one side charred a little more than the other. I need a fork. Shovel up these jalapenos. I like it spicy now. All right. A little bit of cheese in here on it, and then 
Oh, look at there. Y'all, I'd be liking this Italian. I know everybody else likes ranch and Thousand Island. God, I can sop bread up without a tag and need it for a snack. All right, that's good enough on them steaks right there. I think, I don't know, that, that might need a hair more. Let me cook this hair more. Dear Lord, we so thankful, Lord, for this game that you've allowed us to kill. Thankful for the food you've provided for us. We thankful, Lord, for the strength that you've given us. Thankful for this day. Lord, we pray that this food would be blessed to the nourishment of our bodies, that it would give us strength and good health, that you would stay with us, Lord, that you would protect us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask you. Amen. All right. Y'all don't mind if I eat with my rag back on I may get me some new do rags for long the Presley girls said they they had some cool tie-dyed ones that I needed and I'd sure like to have one oh I like tie-dyed all right y'all let's cut into this steak right here I don't remember which one's which on the seasoning so let's see if we can tell Mmm. I ain't sure on that one. Oh, that's that Scotty Tunes right there. I can tell you that. Right off. We got westerns on the TV. That's what y'all hear in the background. Well, anyway, let's try a piece of this heart. I know y'all want to see what all I'm eating at him. That heart. Man, you can't beat that. Mm. You see that? That is good eating. If you're not eating a heart out of a deer, you are throwing away the best piece of meat in it. Mm. That is good. I brought out some five seven. I don't believe I'm gonna need no 57 sauce tonight. It was a just in case deal. Mix my salad up a little bit. It needs to be eat that lettuce will go bad quick in that refrigerator. I don't know why it don't. I'll try not to smack so bad on this video. Mm. Hard to eat that rabbit food though when you got them fine piece of cuisine like that right there in front of you. Ross go down here just by eating the legs off the chairs. Y'all, I was thinking about old Jerry Clower. I see these people, they like him Jerry Clower tail. I don't know what had that tail on my mind about when they joined the army, they were headed down out of South Louisiana, down there, I think, Fort Polk, somewhere. So they'd never been on that fast moving train. Comes through there at Macomb, Mississippi. Said they 
got there, said that train said it comes through so fast. Said man said if there's any guard, said that's the cleanest town in the world. Said that train comes through there so fast, said it just sucks all the garbage right off the street and right on down the track. <laughs> but he said they they got on that train and he said, and the man, he said, that train, brother, he said, when it takes off, he said, that thing takes off. And he said, we got on there. He said, all of us that was joining the Army, and uh, me and Marcel said, we got down there and sat down on our seats and said, Claude was up there. said, Claude would turn around to kiss his mama goodbye in Macomb, Mississippi. Said he kissed a bull right square in the mouth in Hammond, Louisiana. He said that thing, he said it takes off. Said they was sitting on there though. Said that thing was moving along. Said here come this fella down the aisle. Said he was hollering apples, oranges, bananas, two fur a nickel. Apples, oranges, bananas, two fur a nickel. Said old Marcel said we never had heard of banana. Said Marcel, said, hey, fella, what's them bananas? He said, two for a nickel. Marcel said, well, give me two of them. The fella handed them to him. Marcel looked up at him and said, well, how you eat it? He said, you peel that yellow part off. Said Marcel hung his fingernails in there and commenced to slicing. Said he finally got it peeled open. Said he reached in there and scooped him up a handful, popped it in his mouth. Said about that time, that train went in a tunnel. He said it got dark. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. He said, Marcel said, jury, jury. He said, what is it, Marcel? He said, you ate your banana yet? He said, no. He said, well, don't. I took one bite of mine and went stone blind. <laughs> well, y'all, I'm going to finish eating my supper right here. Um, I'm going to do another kitchen cook here pretty quick. We're going to take that flintlock and go shoot us a rabbit. And I'm going to show you how I like to bake that thing. I, I'm going to probably do it out there on the smoker. And... Uh, Put a bunch of potatoes and carrots and such as that in there, sort of like a roast. I'll show you how to do it. Shoot it with that flintlock if we can. I have had some people send me some gifts. Oh, and I can't call names right off the top of my head, y'all. I'm horrible with names, so I'm not going to try. But I had two different people send me stuff for the flintlock. Very nice gifts. I'm going to show you all of that stuff, lay it out before I go. A shooting bag, brushes vent picks, a patch knife and an antler. I, I, it's mind boggling. This one guy, he sent me the uh, a, a powder dispenser. He saw me using that ink pen probably in my patch knife. Some really nice handmade stuff. Y'all, I really appreciate when y'all send me stuff. I don't take it lightly and I, I wanted to mention this and I got a, a small game thing so we'll be able to, if we kill a rabbit, we can use it. So be watching. I'm going to try to make that video happen in the next week or so because we're going to get away from deer hunting a whole lot. Deer season about to close. It still goes primitive weapon, and we may go another time or two. But we hadn't done any cooking in a while. So, And I know I have cooked steak before, but this heart, I've had several people that live around here. How you cook heart? Do you eat it? Y'all, honest to God, heart is the best thing that I cook and eat. I love this right here probably next. And I like my fried squirrels. I like backstrap, deep fried, battered and fried. I, I love it. Uh, I like fried fish. But heart, dear heart, it's tender. You can cook it and it, it is no tough to it at all. So... You, you're talking about slice it up a little finer and make fajitas out of it? Oh, man. They wouldn't be a Mexican left in Mexico if they figured out how to do that. Anyway, thank y'all. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one. You'll get another bite in a minute. Let me eat what I want first.
Give me enough bite of my salad, you know. Lord, I may send everybody off somewhere next weekend. I got it made.